The big thing near, near and dear to our heart down here uh, in Fairhaven and Greater New Bedford is the fishing industry, because even if you don't work in the fishing industry directly, it brings in billions of dollars to the area, and so it's an economic multiplier. Uh, you are a scientist. Talk to us a little bit about your opinions on the fishing industry and what's going on with the federal government and what you would do as a U.S. senator. Yes. So first of all, you have, we have to look at it from this um, deeper issue of um, how decisions get made. You know, so I'll, let me step back and look at biologically. OK, I'm a biological engineer. I have, you know, as I mentioned, a number of degrees. But if you just take it really simple, the human body has about 10 trillion cells. Think about that. There, the intelligence is not in one centralized area. We, there's no federal government in the human body. There's no centralization of power. Right. In fact, nature recognizes that power comes at the edges, that we distribute power and intelligence to at the individual level. That's why we have 10 trillion cells. We're not one big massive cell. That's, that's a very interesting it. point, yeah. Right, so, so nature knows that intelligence is at the edges. What's happened is people like Elizabeth Warren, people... It's not even a left or right issue. What's happened is you have basically a bunch of people who don't really think about things anymore. And they do this because they want to consolidate power, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, so they can control others. So, so once you understand this, you can start looking at things in many interesting ways. So when you look at the regulation of the fishing industry, it actually did better before it was regulated. Um, the reality is the fisherman who's at the docks knows exactly what's going on. He knows how much to fish. They assume that people at the individual level are greedy. They want to rape the oceans. This is all the assumption that they're stupid. The government's assumption. The gov yeah. The, the reality is none of those people probably have ever fished in their lives. They probably don't have ever fixed anything in their lives. They probably never built anything in their lives. So you have a bunch of frankly stupid people who have what I call intellectual idiots um, who have somehow gone through the system and gotten their degrees but never ha ever having to do anything. Right. So think about a lawyer, right? Think about how that process goes. You go, and by the way, there's a lot of good lawyers out there. Of course. Okay? But the model is, if you want to get into politics, the standard model is you go get your bachelor's degree, you go maybe work somewhere for two years, then you go to law school, and while you're at law school, if you're, if you're preparing for your career politics, you're planning that out. Mm -hmm. um, and then you go get some academic position, Obama is a case in point, and then you go run for politics. It's a career model, and they're planning out every step. But by the time they get into a federal government position, have they ever started a business? Have they ever built anything? Nothing. So have they ever fished? So many of these people know really nothing about science or fishing, and they assume that fishermen don't know what they're doing, that they have to be regulated. And this whole pattern is this concept of centralized command and control. Mm -hmm. And that's where they like to control things because they can control their money, their consultants, the lobbyists, et cetera. Right. And nature doesn't work that way. So if you actually look at a number of the data that's come out, come about <coughs> about whether things are being overfished or underfished, right? Mm -hmm. The reality is there's always contradictory data, right? S certainly, we it, see that all the time. Exactly. So what they do is instead of trusting the local people, what they know, they get consultants and they get supposed experts who try to regulate this whole process. So we have to really look at that whole methodology of how they do this reg regulatory process. That it's not coming bottoms up from people; it's coming top down. 